Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review from the beer room on another exceptionally warm day in February. You know, you can't believe the weather this time of the year. Um, today's review is a cider, you know, while I'm down here, logs and ciders all the way. So, Auska and their Nordic Berries Cider. Um, obviously lots of different fruit flavours in it. Uh, should be interesting. Let's crack it open. Oh, gotta get them fucking things moved. Times I crack my head on there, and it hurts when you ain't got no head on air on top. More on when it goes bold. So similar to uh, obviously Copperberg's mixed cider with quarter leg. You know, it seems that Swedish ciders are ruling the odor. Certainly the the fruit ciders, anyway, at least. English ciders, I think, still traditional ciders are ruled still by uh, the British in Somerset. So, looks the part, nice rose colour, small head on it. I don't normally get that with a, a fruit cider. Sporadic lacing round, can't see any carbonation, but this glass isn't one of them glasses for that. Oh. Really, really crisp um, taste. Definitely you know, get the berry flavour. And looking on here, there's um, raspberries, blackcurrant, blackberries. And I'm not sure what the other one is. Blueberries. So, yeah, some nice tastes. I've actually got a cider kit I'm gonna try soon on the rocks mixed berries um, I've not done that one before I've done one of their brands before I can't remember which one it was to be fair and uh, it makes six percent six percent strength cider which for a fruit cider is that's what we're talking about we want the six percent we want the seven four percent you know, it's all right for them that don't drink very often. But for the beer drinkers and, you know, the big drinkers of this world, we want something with a bit of legs on it. Not this pop. I don't know what it is with cider. But I've drank multiple, multiple bottles of these 4%. Never, ever did I ever feel anywhere near drunk. Drink multiple bottles of traditional ciders and I'm feeling battered. And they're not more, much more stronger. Strange. So yeah, the flavours. To me, it tastes very similar to Copperberg. I know it says Nordic berries. Um, I presume that's Norway berries, you know. Doesn't really say anything on the back. It's no point looking on the internet because the internet tells you nothing. With regards to cider reviews, uh, very not much out there apart from YouTube. There's obviously YouTube these days is massive. You know, lots of people doing reviews. If only I'd have got on eight years ago. Eh, I've had the camera for nearly ten years. I hope. Um, at least they give me something to do. You know, sometimes when I'm not doing, not busy. But yeah, very nice cider. Oh, so what can you say? Auska, the brand, absolutely made by the Swedish cider company. So impressed with this branding. Um, not one of their ciders have I not liked and liked really well. Obviously, Audi uh, stock this, um, Iceland stock it, and uh, Home Bargains also stock it. Um, I'm not sure if B&M do, I can't remember. But yeah, so, you know, it's getting a lot, you know, maybe they sell cheaper over it. Maybe they're, they're bought in cheaper than the likes of Copperberg and Recorderlig. And, you know, just to get it going. And if that's the case, then they're doing themselves a massive favour. Because the sheer amount of different flavours that they've got, you know, it's a credit to them.
I've got this bottle here, but I've got another three in the house, different flavours, you know, and um, it's great for me because obviously I get to try different ciders and, uh, well, it's great for the reviews as well. Oh, and what a day. You know, February, you would not think we'd be getting this weather in February. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, no, you, you can't fault it in the slightest. Here's another of my soon-to-be kits that's going to get brewed. Probably after the weekend, I might make a start on another kit. Just waiting for the cherry beer to, you know, come to fruition. I've put it in the wrong fermentation bucket. I've got two fermentation buckets. And I've also got a barrel. What I did, I screwed out the top of the barrel just enough to put an uh, airlock in. So obviously that that's rendered the top of that useless, obviously. But I've got a spare cap anyway. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it gives me the, uh, in the summer months, when it's really um, warm in here, because this is like an oven in the summer months, this spare room, um, it gives me the ability to brew three at a time. Not that you really should be brewing three at a time, but hey -o, you know, you've got a life, haven't you? You've only got one life, you might as well go for it. Uh, all these people, you know, you can be as healthy as you want, but at the end of, end of the day, you know, if something's going to strike you down, it's going to strike you down. And I've known people um, who drink, you know, I've drunk all their lives, continue drinking, and they're, you know, in their 80s. And you get other people who die, sadly, at stupid ages. I mean, I had a cousin die at the age of 15 of stomach cancer, you know, didn't deserve that, you know. And then when you see kids, you know, it's, it's just sacred, you know, it's terrible. I mean, a lady at work, her daughter's died, she was a firefighter, died of cancer, and she was, what, 30-something? Two kids as well, so, you know, devastating for the for the lady at work. You know, you should never, ever be burying your young. No, 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 no. Oh, so this this week, Thursday, I'm flying over to Northern Ireland. Um, wife's grandma died, like, this time last year. And they're having a big get together. Lots of the family coming from all over the UK, all converging on London Derry. And while I'm there, I should be doing some beer reviews because I'm, I'm flying, so I can't bring any back, which is an absolute bastard. Unless I can get a load at the airport. Um, hey, fingers crossed, it's Belfast Airport, so I might be able to pick up some Irish beers at the airport. The only problem is, I can't tell what beers I'm going to be able to get at the airport before I fly. So I might have already reviewed it. If I've already reviewed it, it's pointless bringing another bottle home. But while I'm there, I've identified already about 15 different beers. I'm only there for three days. So first Friday, Saturday. Yeah, come back on the Sunday. So, um, yeah, it's going to be... Uh, I'll have to do some uh, reviews from there and try and get them online from um, Ireland. So And there are some lovely... Um, some you know very different breweries over there so can't wait you know try some new beers out probably stick to the porters and stouts and the stronger beers rather than golden ales because i've got a fist for the golden ales in the house i don't know what it is i'm not really a massive golden ale fan if i'm being honest there's not many that float my boat it's great when you splash yourself in the eye And that's that. That was gorgeous. Not quite as good, I think, as the Copperberg Mixed Berries cider. But it's not said it's mixed berries. It says it's Nordic berries, which is mixed. Um, so out of five. Again, I liked it, but it wasn't quite as good. So I'm going to give it a 4.3 out of five. Still a very respectable score. And uh, yeah, Ausker. Top quality brand, well impressed with, this, with these uh, people. Not had one dodgy one yet. Brilliant. Thanks for watching. See you soon.